With Disney recently buying Fox, many fans were unsure about what would happen to the all-time favorite Wade Wilson alias Deadpool, whose rights now belong entirely to Disney. After all, the last two Deadpool films all had an R rating and such films would drag strongly on the image of the company that became famous for children's movies. To the joy of all fans, Disney boss Alan Horn announced at Comic-Con that we can expect more from Deadpool in the future. Horn didn't want to tell us more, but we are curious what Disney will be doing with the Deadpool franchise in the future. None other than Star Wars icon and Luke Skywalker actor Mark Hamill will dub the Vicious Killer doll in Chucky's remake. On Twitter he published a short video that shows him how he will present Chucky in Child's Play. However, the story of the remake will be different than in the original. Instead of an obsession by the serial killer Charles Lee Ray, or briefly called Chucky, in the new part a malfunction of a toy will lead the doll to develop murderous intentions. This time, it is even equipped with artificial intelligence and does not come from a dark cellar laboratory, but from a worldwide operating company. Mark Hamill will be joined by his colleagues Aubrey Plaza, Gabriel Bateman and Tim Matheson. Both original producer David Kirshner and the creator of the original film Don Mancini won't have anything to do with the remake. The cinema release for all fans of the new killer doll will be on June 21st, 2019. We have some news from the Suicide Squad franchise. Jay Courtney, more commonly known as Captain Boomerang, will return to Suicide Squad in the second part, being the first returnee to be officially confirmed. After it was announced at the end of February that Will Smith will not return as Deadshot, these are positive news for all Suicide Squad fans. In an interview with the Business Insider, Courtney reveals, among other things, that preparations for the shoot are already in progress in a few months and that, unfortunately, he can't reveal much more. He only lets it shine through that the Suicide Squad will certainly be different, but still great. Whether Margot Robbie will return as Harley Quinn or Jared Leto as Joker in the near future is more than questionable. Apparently director James Gunn will go without both of them. However, in view of the soon shooting start it's very likely that more details about the cast will be revealed in the near future. By the way, the official start date will probably be August 6, 2021. It seems that there currently are two genres that always win at the box office, superhero movies and horror films. Currently, Shazam is expected to make between 45 and 50 million US dollars on its debut. Shazam is about teenager Billy Baston who can transform into a superhero when he says the magic word. The film is said to be funny as he doesn't take himself too seriously. Variety's Oven Gliberman said, you've got to giggle at this stuff, that's part of the adventure. If Shazam will be as successful as expected, it will be the third success story in a row for DC Entertainment, as the studio attempts to fashion an alternative to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. One advantage of Shazam is that it doesn't have to pull the same kind of ticket sales like Aquaman or Wonder Woman, which were twice as expensive to produce. Warner Brothers positioned Shazam well between the slew of superhero titles arriving in theaters this year, as it's arriving over a month after Disney's Captain Marvel and a few weeks ahead of Avengers Endgame. After the first season of Umbrella Academy was released on Netflix in February this year, it is now confirmed that Netflix has ordered a second season of the somewhat different superhero series. On Instagram, the streaming giant released a small video clip which confirms that a second season is planned. The shooting is scheduled to start in Toronto this summer. Season 1 is about 7 superhero children, all born mysteriously on the same day next to 36 other babies and adopted by a certain Sir Reginald Hargreaves. They all have different superpowers and are prepared at Umbrella Academy to save the world. Fans of the first season will also be able to enjoy the same cast as Alan Page, Tom Hopper, Emmy Raver Lampman, David Castaneda, Robert Sheehan, Aidan Gallagher and Justin Min will all return. Executive producer Steve Blackman will also be back behind the camera again. Nothing is known about the release of the second season yet, but you can expect it to be released next year. Many fans of the Avatar series may have been surprised to see Wind Diesel on Instagram alongside James Cameron on the Avatar set. Will the Fast and Furious star play a role in one of the planned sequels? Probably not, since the video with Cameron's comments looks more like Diesel is just visiting this set. Even his statement that he always wanted to work with Cameron shouldn't be put too much weight on. Meanwhile, Cameron jokes that if he talks too much about the shoot, he'll have to erase his mind. This all clearly just seems like a short visit on set, yet many fans probably have hoped that Wind Diesel will play a role in the Avatar movies. 
Avatar's release date is December 18, 2020, while its successor Avatar 3 is scheduled for December 17, 2021.